Alabama's news source. This is the News at 9. Lagoon Park, the place to be this week in the capital city, a state softball action began today. The Brantley Bulldogs beginning its quest for a three-peat in Class 1A, taking on Spring Garden. Bulldogs knocked off South Lamar 10-0 in their opening contest. Top second, Gracie Free gets the bloop to drop into the outfield. Hannah Sims will come in to score 1-0 Bulldogs. Brantley would score four in the second and knock off the Panthers 10-0. Bulldogs advance in the winner's bracket to take on Billingsley tomorrow at 9 o'clock. The Kinston Bulldogs looking to stay alive in Class 1A after losing to Raglan. Bulldogs heating up against Decatur Heritage. Bailey Holly gets it over the third baseman's glove. Kelly Mack's going to come into score from second. Bulldogs take care of the Eagles 8-2, but they would fall in the 6 o'clock game to Spring Garden 3-1 in nine innings. Bulldogs finish the season 22-20. Class 5A, number one Rehoboth taking on Alexandria in its first game. Bottom of the first, Ansley Brown gets the ball over the infielder. Taylor Truitt will come home to score. Rebels go up one to nothing. Bottom of the third, Blake Gibson goes back up the middle. Truitt's going to come home to score again, making it two nothing. Rebels would get the job done and knock off the Valley Cubs seven to three. However, Rehoboth would then fall to Helena four to three and lose to Springville in an elimination game three to two. Rebel season comes to an end with a record of 56 and 6. A few of Dale County's finest signing on the dotted line earlier today. Taylor Hamblin signed her letter of intent to play softball at Chattahoochee Valley Community College. Taylor Hartzog will be headed to Huntington to be a cheerleader, and Ann Catherine Escado will be cheering on the Blazers of UAB. Congrats to all the signees. And some more congrats to Auburn softball star Casey Cooper. Casey the Dothan Cooper. native was named ESPNW's Player of the Year. That will go along with her SEC Player of the Year award very well. Cooper is hitting 431 with 19 home runs this year. It was an SEC overload in the Magic City. Auburn's Gus Malzahn, Alabama's Nick Saban, and Georgia's Kirby Smart, among others, teamed it up for the region's tradition Pro-Am. The elephant in the room, though, was the recent arrest of Alabama players Cam Robinson and Hootie Jones. I talked to them, and there's nothing really different on it. We're still gathering information about, you know, the circumstance and the situation, and uh, we'll figure out whether there's something internally we need to do uh, that's appropriate relative to um, what the situation is. Now, John, I was going through all that video, and there were pretty, some pretty terrible golf swings going on out there. Word around the newsroom is that you can tear it up on the links out there. Uh, you know what? I'm playing tomorrow, as a matter of fact, Justin, so I'll <laughs> let you know how that goes. I haven't played in a while, so it could be anybody's guess as to how good I play. Best of luck to you out there. Thanks a lot. Good to see you. Thanks. We'll take a break. Be right back.